Ladies and gentlemen, we have some very good news to discuss today, especially if you are a Call of Duty player and someone who has been around with this franchise for a very long time. It also just happens to be that this video you are watching right now is my 500th video that I've made on this channel, so it feels kind of like destiny that my 500th video would have been a video about a very positive piece of news, but hey, regardless, we are going to talk about that piece of news today, which was that apparently, from the looks of it, Activision did a good thing and went into the Call of Duty games of old and fixed up all their servers to make it more accessible for people to actually find lobbies. Comment down below what your thoughts are on this and like the video if you are as happy as I am, and also like the video because of the fact that this is my 500th video, and I've put a lot of work and dedication into making videos on this channel, so I would very much appreciate that. So yes, you heard it right. We have some news of sorts that has broken from Charlie Intel himself. From the looks of it, according to Charlie's post, Activision went in to a bunch of the older Call of Duty games, including the original Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, the original Modern Warfare 2, the original Black Ops 1, and then also Modern Warfare 3, and fixed up their servers. For context, for those wondering, yes, this is for the Xbox 360 versions. None of this has to do with PlayStation. So let's say that you are somebody out there who for some reason is still playing on the 360, or if you are somebody who is playing the 360 versions through backwards compatibility on the Xbox One and Xbox Series S and X, you are now able to find lobbies in those games, just like how you did in the old days when there were no server issues. I'm sure a lot of people out there probably are wondering why this news is very important, especially when we are talking about games that are very old at this point. The reason why this news is such a big deal can stem from many different reasons, and we are going to discuss them here right now. For one, for a lot of people who have had the want to play the older Call of Duty games and enjoy all that nostalgia for playing them still to this day, a lot of people have been having server issues for years now, including myself. For the longest time, any time I tried to boot up one of the older games, even though backwards compatibility was on my side, I always found myself just being stuck trying to find a server, even though I knew that people were still playing the game. I would just sit in a lobby and nothing would happen, and ultimately, it came down to the fact that the servers on the old game, for some people on console, specifically Xbox, we're having trouble finding those lobbies. As you can see on screen right now, you'll notice that I have gotten some gameplay to showcase that is in fact working and that they did go back and patch up the old games to get them on pace for people to actually go and back and find those lobbies. So the other reason why this news is so important because these older games are near and dear to a lot of people's hearts and the ability for Call of Duty and Activision to be able to keep them going is what makes this community feel happy and good. On top of that, the other part of this that connects in with this news is that it's so interesting to me that th this is coming off just the other day when it was announced that Microsoft and their bid to buy Activision managed to go through in the US, meaning that they are literally only a few short steps closer to acquiring this company. I really don't know if this news had anything to do with it, but it is just a little weird that these two pieces of news came out about around the same time as they did. There is a good chance maybe Phil Spencer put in a word at Activision for them to fix something up like that. I'm not really sure, to be honest. Until we get an official statement from Activision and a comment from them on why they made this move, I really don't know what to say, to be honest. I just know that for once, Activision is doing something really good for the community, and these old Old games. Honestly, getting back on and playing a game like Modern Warfare 2 felt very good since it's been a long time since I actually managed to find a lobby to play in. It's a feeling that I think lots of Call of Duty fans want to have when having fun playing those older games. You want to make sure that they are well kept in terms of good health. This is just one of the first steps closer to making that happen. Unfortunately, there are still some problems that are plaguing some of the older games that I would hope Activision would go in and fix again, like Black Ops 3 for example, which is still affected by that bug, which is affecting multiplayer right now, giving everyone god mode on there if you do something with your class setup that's... I just... I can't stand that. I cannot stand it. Activision, if you are watching this video, please, for the love of god, go and fix that bug. It is so damaging to what's left of Black Ops 3 multiplayer. Who knows if this was just a one-time thing, but it's a one-time thing that I think is going to make a lot of people happy, so that's why I made this video here today to comment on this news. I hope you all enjoyed. Again, down below, please comment your thoughts on this news and like the video if you are eagerly excited to go back and play some old-school COD, especially if you are an Xbox player who I assume was having a lot of these issues. Subscribe to the channel if you are new here as well, and I would very much appreciate that. I hope you all have a great rest of your week, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. This is Orion signing out.